KHON2 Weather, Kamaka Pili. Aloha la pule. Happy Sunday to everybody. As we take a peek into the new week, we are looking to just have elevated threats for our ocean conditions. Our winds, our rains, that's going to be calming down at least to start off the week. But for ocean conditions, the high surf advisory from Niihau down to the western facing shore of Maui, high surf warning from Molokai, north facing shore of Maui and Hawaii Island, all of those until tomorrow morning. But I mentioned that even though that expires tomorrow morning, we can expect that to be extended at least advisory levels throughout potentially the whole week. For tomorrow, we're going to start to see the morning surf decrease as this current swell exits. But then by the time we get to tomorrow night, the next swell starts to fill in, say, 14 to 8 footers by tomorrow afternoon, 8 to 12 footers for the west facing shores. Again, that's dangerous conditions. One to three calmest conditions on the south, two to three on the east facing shores. And on all inexperienced beach goers should be going to those two different uh, beach uh, sides of the islands. Now, in terms of the large surf and the dangerous conditions, these are the swells that will be coming through in this week. So the next one should be peaking around two Tuesday and then Thursday and then over the weekend into the new week. This is potential advisory levels throughout the week. It has the, the opportunity to increase up to warning levels. So again, just a week of dangerous surf. In terms of our atmosphere and what we're looking with in terms of the winds and the, way, the rains, the winds are, e are light on the easterly direction right now. We're going to start off tomorrow with that, but because we're going to have not just one, but a set of cold fronts throughout the week, the first one making its approach early next week, that's going to uh, result in the weakening of our winds. We're going to lose the trade winds on Tuesday and then have this cold front start to sweep over, bring some shower activity on Wednesday just to be followed up by yet another cold front. So in terms of the winds, don't expect the trade winds to be consistent throughout this week. We may just have one day a period before it starts to switch again towards variable conditions. In terms of shower activity, we do have some low-level clouds coming in from the east, giving some shower activity for windward and Malkasha uh, sections. But as we lose the trade winds, we're going to start to get more sea breezes during the afternoon, so leeward sides can expect some afternoon shower activity really throughout this coming week before the trade winds return by next weekend as of right now. Taking a look at tomorrow morning, those rain chances remain quite low. As we progress through the afternoon, you can expect drier conditions, but that's going to start to change as we get to the middle of the week. Now, taking a peek for tonight, what we are looking at is to see just some increase of shower activity, mainly for the eastern portion of Maui, some of that coming on to the eastern portion of Hawaii Island as well. The greatest chance tonight, we do see some high-level clouds starting to sweep up from the south, creating a little bit more instability on the eastern portion. As we get into next week, again, starting off the day with easterly trades that will shift down towards the southeast by tomorrow night. And then the variable conditions throughout the week continue. Southerly winds for Tuesday as that first cold front comes on Wednesday to bring our first round of wet weather. A one quick patch of trade winds on Thursday before that next cold front comes. And because it looks to be stalling over portions of the state, we do see shower activity potentially starting again on Friday, lasting us through the weekend. Lauren, I give it back to you.